actually got a lot of weeds that are growing here and I was thinking about actually just cutting them out and taking them away but you know the reality is these weeds are pulling up nutrients from yeah. the ground yeah. and this is a good thing and what we do is, is when we cut some of them back we can just put them back on here and they put the nutrition yeah. in yes, yes. also I don't know if you can see but we've actually got the ants that are going up the tree as well and they they're moving nutrients back up and down as well yes so these are these are really good things we think yes. weeds are bad but yes. actually they're good that's where you know the definition of ecology in my sense mm. is holistic it's not only about you know some weed growing or you don't like cut them off or you don't you know allow the ants or birds or whatever ecology is where the life grows you know yeah. or swamiji has said very perfectly the ecology is like where the life grows and the life is there in every bit of it right from the birds in the sky or on the tree to the you know small creatures under the ground or in the airborne everything everything whether you can see whether you can recognize or not beyond that the ecology but for a layman uh, i might be wrong but i feel that ecology for them means good trees and when they go deeper into it they feel that is that tree beneficial to them how much it is yielding like when they see, look at look at a cow they say how much milk it's mm, giving like production production yeah. you know it's so everything production yeah. how much you earn you know what's your salary what's your package what, like that and there there we go wrong and that is where we find a connect a kind of disconnect if it is good for me it should start, survive if it is not cut it off yeah. and that is why today ecology has become the talk of the town the imbalance of the ecology not ecology you know by the way guys uh, my name is Binay Kumar Singh. We are at the Art of Living International Center, the model, model permaculture farm. And our friend Jeremy from South Africa, and he has been here for four years nearly now. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. We have been working together here for all these years, and he had been my inspiration. He comes from a background of mining and reviving the mining mining uh, areas. Like once the mining is done, the leftover he he is expert and reviving that and he has also done the permaculture design course he's a teacher and all that so when we come together we you know unknowingly redefine that shloka which says sanghe shakti kaliyuga the group has the power in kaliyuga and we are the group of two and so jeremy what do you think these kind of models do they really uh, cater to the problem that the world is talking today you know uh, Bine, th these are these are the life the permaculture centers are the life centers of, of the world I was recently I for a long time I've thought that the only way we're going to provide enough food to our society is through technology through industrial gardens through vertical gardens through in warehouse buildings but the problem is the technology is costing so much two of the biggest operators in the world have just gone totally bust in, in vertical farming in vertical farming indoor yes, vertical that's farming. industry for you and this this is the serious thing and then you've got all of that infrastructure that now becomes a waste they don't know what to do with it yes whereas with yes. permaculture with these types of activities here there is no waste you actually use what we call waste in the conventional thing yes and we put it back into the ground yeah we build the soil we build the nutrition yes you know everything yes we, we've lost about between 60 and 80 percent of the nutrition in all vegetables over yes. the last 20 years is yes. gone yes yes and we and take supplements to complement this you know? yes yes that the dependency on the market that's the market is good at you know making you dependent on everything <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. You know the the it has why why the nutrition has decreased in the vegetables and fruits because the porosity in the earth has also decreased 50 years back it was 52.5 percent now it is six percent yeah and at least in this country of India and those those other countries Europe and other where pesticides and chemical have been bombarded like anything yeah. it must right. have gone even more down so when the water is not able to drink the I mean the earth is not able to drink or suck the water how will the, the plant survive on that that is where machinery and technology you know comes in picture and it fails it fails miserably you know and uh, that is where uh, the united nations had to write you know that that the generation of farmers today in the world are the last generation yeah we are go uh, almost about to forget this art of growing making this forest kind of thing or growing some edible we are going it is going to slip out of our muscle memory you know what you do you know, say Binay, what strikes me is our industrial agricultural practices since the green revolution what they're doing is is they're damaging the soil to such an extent there's no cohesion in the soil anymore yes there's no glue factor there and they the scientists are telling us and they're telling us with more and more evidence that we've basically got between 60 and 90 years left of industrial soil yes. to farm then it's gone so you're right there will be no farmers left because yes. there'll be no farms yeah
you think that's a, that's a solution statement for all those problem statement that the world is talking day and night and we enjoy talking about problems you know <laughs> We need, we need to keep coming back to the things that are of real value for us. You know, the connection between the earth and the soil. For example, you can't perhaps see it, it's out of picture, but Binet always walks around barefoot because he's connecting with the energy of the soil. His feet are a little bit more stable and sturdy than mine are, and I wear shoes, but the energy comes up to the earth and it feeds him on a nutritional, on a, on a subliminal nutritional level. I'm separated because I'm wearing these plastic shoes that I've only got a short lifespan. You know, I just uh, remember when, when we were making this farm back in 2013 and mm. or maybe 14 early, our uh, uh, founder, he is no more, the late Venkate Dhamraji, he made a uh, picture, you know, the, the, the slideshow of that and sent it to the Earth Institute of Australia mm. without writing a word. Maybe he would have written that we are doing a Tata Link you know, site in Bangalore and all that. They wrote on behalf of us. You know what they wrote? No, they wrote the, when the whole world is talking about the problem. Yeah. This is the glimpse of solution. Yeah. If we go this way, then our kids will have food to eat and water to drink and air to breathe. The yeah. purest one, nutrient ones. Yeah. And they kept that on their website for three weeks. Mm. Early, or later on, we came to know that they take months together to publish any article or any project. Yeah. And that was still there. I mean, now I don't know whether it's there or not, but it was there and we feel so proud. That is where from the day one when and I'm sure when you also joined you know four years back we we give the solution to the problem you know all, all different things that we have done like conserving the water or maybe you you know you can share your what, what all you see here you know so I've seen some photographs as Benet was mentioning in 2012 this area that you see is a green lush area behind you was actually all just brown very low stubble grass and rocky and the cows used to come through here and they just kind of eat anything that was left and over these what's it 10 15 years, 10 years now. totally converted it into a lovely vibrant green ecosystem and that's the difference by just putting that little bit of effort putting it back into our society into our community into our soil into our people putting the nutrition back in as well as taking fruits and, and vegetables out of the system we've actually gained so much more so the question is is where do you want to be you know, do, yeah. you, do, do you want to do you want to build something, or do you just want to keep buying things in plastic from the shops? Because the plastic food from the shops going to disappear, because the soil's not going to be there. The prices are going to go up. Whereas this, it's it's much more nutritional. It's, yes. it's got a better yes. nutritional yes. density, yes. and yes. we don't have. To, and it improves your health too because you're eating quality products. Yes. You're eating good, basic food. That, that had been our main, main motto, you know, when we invite people to be here, you know, either through some some courses or some internship, mm -hmm. you know, we we sensitize them, like, why is it necessary? Yeah. And then they get inspired and they get, or maybe scared or I don't know what, but they end up putting their hand in the mud, getting the hand dirty at right place. You know, and that's why the series of trainings, you know, you have, you have come for many trainings so yeah. when we do that. You know? So that's where we think before it gets slips out of our muscle memory, let's learn it, catch it back. You yes, know? so let's be part of the solution and not the problem. We've all got thousands of problems, but this is a integrated yes. solution. Yes, we'll have, you know, uh, we have it in September, first week, ah, a okay. retreat of nine days residential program. Lovely. You know, uh, see who are the lucky ones. John, yeah. <laughs> thank you. See you one of the lucky ones.